My name's Mikhail Ahmed. I'm a second year Jesuit novice in the Society of Jesus. Coming to the end of my second year now, preparing to take first vows. I was born in Pakistan, so my first experience of faith was actually of Islam. I think over my, through my youth and into my early adulthood, I spent a lot of time exploring and trying to find where I fit both in faith and in life. And I did a lot of exploring. I ended up really trying a lot of different career paths, a lot of different jobs. Essentially what I was trying to do was put on a lot of different suits to see where I fitted, because I was desperate to find the right place. Today um, we've actually got a number of donations for St. Chad's Sanctuary. We've got some desktop computers which have recently been sort of reset for use um, for anyone to be able to switch on and get going. And we have some clothes donations because from our experience, or at least my experience, families who um, are refugee friends who have come from abroad, when they arrive here, they basically arrive with very, very little. And so when they're settling, to, settling into a new accommodation, um, basic household stuff is really vital for them. So hopefully what we've got will hopefully be a gift, um, gift to them, to, to people anyway. I had kind of come to a point where I had exhausted all my options. I had nowhere else to go. And I remember thinking to myself, what the heck am I supposed to do with my life? This is ridiculous. I've tried everything and nothing fits. And so I did a sort of a, a long weekend individually guided retreat. And that's probably one of the anchor points or the anchor point of my life because it was on that retreat that when I went into it, the first question I was asked was, what do you want out of this retreat? And then instantly my answer came out and I just said, I want to talk to God. As simple as that, I really wanted to talk to God. I needed answers, I had questions, I wanted to inquire, and I did. And it was on that retreat that I had a real intimate experience of, of the Lord. And it was shortly after that I received my call to the Society as a Jesuit brother. We're at Rush Strokes. And today being a Friday, they're running a cafe, which is open really actually to everybody, to refugee friends, to homeless, and then community members of the local area. And people come for the main meal, cup of tea, for a chat to socialize. In the novitiate, there is time and space for the novices every Friday to engage with an outreach program that for myself and Eamon is visiting Brushstrokes in Smethwick. So how I got involved in Brushstrokes, I'm basically doing a voluntary year with the Columban missionaries and they have a voluntary year called Faith in Action. I really am enjoying it. I feel like Brushstrokes is like the best part. <laughs> it's just lovely, especially just Friday community cafe, just being able to provide lunch for people. Lunch may seem like the most basic or simplest thing, but it does a lot for people. I feel like just reading scripture alone doesn't cut it for me specifically. <laughs> and scriptures, it does say don't just be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word. So I do feel like this is kind of what Christ wants us to do. Quite often people make this distinction of we have a spiritual life over here and then we have the reality of life over here. And I think being contemplative in action is a way of showing that actually they're one and the same. And it does begin to open your eyes, in my experience, just how active God is in the little things. So I tend to help with the cooking. I'm an asylum seeker and I go to school as well. So I've known this place for a long time. They always get help from the air, like food, clothing at times. They help me out a lot. I think helping them is 
part of me like giving back to them. When I look back to the ways I used to search for everything but this, there was a real deep restlessness inside me. From time to time, I just knew that in everything else I did, I was not in the right place. I just knew that. And when I entered the society and when I stepped through the doors of the novitiate, that sensation has not been present in the last two years. There's been challenges, there's been desolation, there's been consolation, and there's been a lot of time spent out of my comfort zone. But that restlessness, that seeking of the right place of where I belong, that has not been here. Part of the novitiate timetable involves outdoor works, outdoor works being humble tasks. And so what we're actually going to be doing today is helping the ground staff here at Oscott. So for me, gradually over the two years, I've started to put that vocation on, in a sense, to accept it, to grow with it. And now as I move forward into vows, I look forward with a lot of joy and hope in what I'm doing, knowing that I'm on the right path. So I guess in a way, the novitiate is kind of like fertile soil where the seed is planted. And if you cooperate with it, if you engage with it, and that comes back to being open, being open-hearted about the formation process, that's when it's a space to really to grow and to be fruitful. It's the community that I found when you're at your lowest moment are there to pick you up and to carry you. There have been a number of times in community where I've heard that phrase said to myself or said to someone else, where they say, let the community carry you. And that's what we do. And that's a real blessing. When you come to realize that God really exists, it was a real grace, it was a real gift of, wow, there's something here I can't quite grasp. There's something here that I can't explain in words. There's in no way I can ever go back to not believing. I think I've also come to learn that prayer can be difficult. Prayer is not easy. Prayer sometimes I found is a real grind. But I think what I've learned in terms of my own personal prayer is that it's really important to turn up, to make time, to make space for it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And I think that my idea of what love is has changed as well in terms of my relationship to God. Love isn't always an emotional feeling. Love is an action. So by making the action of saying, God, Lord, I just don't feel like praying today, but I'm willing to come and just sit and be. I'm Father Simon Bishop and I'm the novice master here. And my role is to accompany the novices during their two year period. Encountering these individual men and seeing what God is doing in their lives is just, just mind blowing. You know, and just seeing how God loves them and is wanting them to know how much they're loved so that they in turn can help others realize how much they're loved. I mean, that's an extraordinary life-giving role to be walking alongside them, um, just kind of seeing what God is doing with them. So in regards to vows and taking them in September, in all honesty, I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like I'm on the right path. I feel like I'm in the right place. And it's been a challenging experience to be sure, and at times very painful in the novitiate. You're really tested at times. You're really brought out of your comfort zone, but it's been really blessed as well. And I have a deep sense of gratitude for the whole experience. 
And sometimes you can only see that when you persevere and you look back. And as I think about walking with Jesus explicitly, that's what it is for me. He's laying the stones, essentially, and I'm kind of walking forwards. I think the fundamental question, though, that comes up is, he's asking me, will you live your life with me? And I think my answer has to be yes.